What's going on? I'm back. I know it's been like at least two days, but I've been playing raid mode like nuts. As you can see, I got another outfit for Barry. This is his classic stars outfit, special special tactics and rescue squad or service. Can't read on the side right there because that little piece of equipment for him is actually blocking me. But this is classic stars um, costume right here. But pretty much what I want to talk about in this video is about the toolbox. This little thing right here. Pretty much you get this by completing different missions. You know, getting your medallions and whatnot. And this is the place where you need to go to to combine your parts. And pretty much these are all the stuff that I have right now. All the others, all the other parts that I had, I combined them. Pretty much this is my toolbox um, rank 2. Obviously if you go down right here as you can see it says right here upgrade toolbox rank 3. Combine parts max level 5 to 7. So pretty much I have different parts that has level either 3, 4, 2. You gotta get the same parts but each part you combine them with you upgrade them. And the more times you upgrade them, it'll go up to like level 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Now, one of the things that I like about in this game is that everything you have from characters, weapons, you know, from what you call it, pistols, shotguns, all that stuff, you got to upgrade them. You can't get around it you can't find some type of um sweet spot to be like okay i could just cheat the this little thing here and just go here everything is um is upgradable as you can see from characters weapons skills you know the whole works and you're gonna need to upgrade these weapons and parts in order to dominate raid mode your character may be high, but if your weapons are not up to par, you can't be killing these enemies anywhere fast. You're going to be killing them all slow. They'll still come after you. They'll still own your ass. As you can see, I have access to level 37 stuff. As you can see, the AR high roller level 37. The anti-material um, um, rifle, all of these stuff. And obviously, I'm just going to buy this right here because I've been using my ammo from ammo from the last mission that I did. I got a completion medal, by the way. And I've just been wrecking, man. And the character that I've been using, because I've been on such a crazy streak with this, is that I've been using Jill. Jill ha has really been a monster the past, I think, 20 or 25 missions. And that's because... This decoy bottle, I know I've said with Hunk's um, stealth cloak that it's just so, like, you know, I, 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 could, I consider it OP because not only can you cloak yourself, but you could go behind enemies and pretty much instant kill them depending on if it's accessible to that enemy. But this decoy bottle has saved me so many times and the exploding bottle has taken out groups of enemies like at least five or six enemies like in one shot so i've been able to get through mission after mission yeah i've taken some hits yeah i almost died but the decoy bottle i mean it just saves my life <laughs> you have no idea and later on if i rank up even more with her i'm close to 41 I could get the crouch dodge. So if I'm crouched and those enemies, because usually every time when I crouch, I want to do a dodge, but I can't because I don't have this and they end up grabbing me anyway. So I hope I could just unlock the crouch dodge and upgrade that. So I could substitute this crouch dodge, put that in and get rid of can't catch me, even though I ranked that up because I need to increase my evasion duration. So... I'm hoping I could get that, but everything in this game is all about ranking it up, getting it to the right level, and pretty much dominate raid mode as much as you can, because what I'm pretty much waiting for is the online 
mode for this game, which comes out not this coming week, next week. I think it's like around Tuesday. So obviously this week is pretty much done. Obviously you got Saturday and Sunday going on to the next week. So pretty much you could say like week after next. Um, they'll make this online available. And once they do that, I get to play with other people. So pretty much you could say from the time they release ra um, raid mode and all the other stuff that comes with it. You could say like it's a little bit of a warm up training type of session for yourself. Get yourself warmed up because once online comes out. People are going to start playing. People are going to try and knock off these missions and whatnot. Get these completion medals so that they can unlock certain um, either costumes or weapons. Now, as far as with me, I'm having no issues with that. Because obviously, as you can see, for Barry, I unlocked his um, stars costume. As they call it in this game, his outfit. I already have this one already, as you already know. I already have this one. So I unlocked this one just recently. And the other one that I unlocked, which is uh, for Claire. She has one more. And if I could get to it. She, un um, she has this outfit. And this one is made in heaven. It's not, you know, flashy and it's not too dull. It's just... A plain outfit for her to rock with. And she has another outfit. I'm guessing this one is obviously for her classic stars outfit or costume. That's what I'm predicting. So that's pretty much all of the stuff as of right now. You know, y'all already know I have Neil. I have Leon up in there. I have Chris. I would like to see them implement a costume or, you know, an outfit for Leon and Chris at least because these two are classic Resident Evil characters and well-known. So they should deserve to have an outfit just like how Barry and Claire have one. And they should obviously give one for Jill as well. Wesker looks good with just this outfit right here as it is. So that's just classic Wesker right there. But, you know. That's just based on my opinion. But um, bottom line as far as what this video is concerned, God, is that everything in this game, you have to rank up. Rank up, upgrade it, get it to a certain level, go into raid mode and dominate. Now, as far as with my progress, let me go over here to show you guys my progress. Now, as you can see, I pretty much flawless every get everything so far. I'm I'm gonna work on these right here. I'm gonna work on these. I'm working on this. About to finish that. As you can see, 50% and whatnot. And if you guys have an opportunity to unlock this, you can do that as well. And as you can see, top three perform um top three right there. It shows my name right there, obviously, because I the only one so far but when online comes around i want to see who have actually done better as far as with the view top three and whatnot so as you can see these two slots remain unknown but that's going to change once online comes around the only good thing with this mission here is that it's only um it's only four so this is pretty good right here the only thing with this one and this one is that it's mad long this one has a protect the target. And it's only, let me see, one, two, three defeat the enemy missions and one protect the target. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but once you go here and then here, it gets a little bit more hectic. So, that's why it's like, I can't wait for online to come out so I can play with people, see how they handle certain situations as far as with missions in this game. Not just with chapter 5 right here, but 6, 7, and 8, once I unlock these. But, as of now, I've pretty much been dominating so far by myself. I've pretty much done half, roughly half of raid mode by myself, and I flawless a good chunk of it. Especially, you know, the normal side. 
So, that's pretty good. I'm pretty much about to finish up very hard mode for this chapter right here, chapter one, obviously. But once we get down further and further, it's going to be so damn difficult. And I believe, obviously, I think this one, yeah, this is 47. You need to be level 47 to tackle the enemies there. But I believe right here, this is 50. And this is only chapter five right here, level five or whatever you want to call it. But I call it chapter five because they're going in, in Roman numeral order. So right here, this is 51. This is 50. I mean, come on, 53. So you could imagine these right here. You got to be at least, I don't know, like level 60 or 65. And you got to include these as well, too. So it's a, it's a crazy thing, man, but. Like I said, I've been doing raid mode by myself, obviously. Done a pretty good job. But the backbone of all of this. Gotta upgrade the parts you get from playing in missions. Those same little chests that you get. Get those. The parts. Upgrade the parts so you can equip it on your weapons. The elements that come with it. Like, for example... You have electric ammo, shoot bullets with electric attributes, obviously quick reload, obviously to reload faster, long range. I usually use this for my sniper rifles because the farther you are, it increases firepower. That's awesome right there. Days to stun your enemies by 135%. That's just level three. Level four, that's 164%. So... That's the difference that I'm talking about when you level up your stuff. So as you can see, day's level 5, this is level 4, this is level 3. So I mean, you gotta pick parts with the weapons of your choice and see how they work with enemies. And the other thing about it, I'm, I'm, I might just, I'm gonna save that probably for the next video probably, but I can still do it now. But no, 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 I'm just going to do it now. If you want to, you can destroy the parts. But look what it says. If you destroy the equipped parts to open up the slot. So if I want to destroy this, I can. But I'm not going to. Usually if I'm done with a weapon, I'd rather destroy the weapon to retrieve the equipment parts. Because the parts are more important. You're gonna you're gonna rank up past 35 eventually. But the parts are more important. I could still use the parts and put it on a more powerful weapon and go from there. Use that weapon and all that stuff, and then I could destroy the weapon, get back the parts, and keep going at it like that. It would be stupid of me to destroy the parts to open up a slot. Then you got to go through the whole thing of ranking it up all over again because that's going to cost more gold. So I wouldn't do it like that. I'd rather just destroy the weapon and get the parts and I could still use the parts for a, a more powerful weapon. Like a 36 or a 37. Same thing with a shotgun. You know, this one doesn't have any um, parts in it, but I can put it on it. Especially when it comes to um, magnums. Magnums, people already know Magnums are boss killers. This one's 36, this one is 25, you know, this one's 39. This is my powerful, most powerful Magnum right here. 13,482 firepower. That's a lot of firepower and damage. I could pretty much kill any boss probably with at least two shots at least to any semi boss that's under this level like 38 37 i can give them at least two to three shots they'll go down and i'll still have ammo left and at the same time i put parts on this as well i put damage level four capacity level two so i could have seven more than enough and firing rate so i could get off more shots but it's all about upgrading, man. You got to upgrade your stuff. 
So what I'm going to plan to do like later on, probably within the week or whatever, I might just level up at least Neo, Chris and Leon so they can be at least level 20 go on from there because I believe Chris's rocket launcher will probably help me out later on as I unlock more and more missions. So I may need Chris slightly more than Leon because Leon will take a little bit later on before I, I obviously could unlock his rocket launcher. So it's it's progress but at the same time in this game you gotta have patience. And you can't just go into a high level mission and be like, oh, I could kill everything. This weapon, it's all good, man. The enemies will wreck you hard. And you gotta keep consuming life crystals and all that shit. Mm -mm. So, that's pretty much it, guys. With the toolbox, combining parts for weapons, all that stuff. So, catch y'all later, man.